This is going to be a back takeoff of butterfly door. All right. Okay. So from here, I'm going to get a pant grip on the side of the knee. Okay. So I've got the pants on this side, and I'm getting a cross collar grip right here. Okay. Now I'm going to load him up. I'm going to pull him into me. Of course, using my elevators here. When I do this, I load him up high here, there, on top. Now, this hand is going to release and cup this arm. Because I need to, this is his post, I need this gone. As I do this, my right foot continues elevating. I clear my left leg, push this knee in, boom, to the back. Okay? Here, cross collar grip control here. Now, I'm going to have to get fairly deep in the collar because I just pull here, he's got some posture. I'm going to get here in the collar. I'm going to load him up on top here, elevate, catch the back of the tricep. Continue kicking with this leg, pull the arm, push here. I clear this leg out. Now, this is one motion as I kick, pull, and come up. Okay? Now, I'm having to do this because I'm doing it slow. If I do it really hard, I should be able to flip him right to my lap. Okay? We're in butterfly. I'm going to do it a little bit harder this time. Butterfly. I got my grip on the pants here. Cross collar grip. Okay? Elbow. I'm not there. Elbow's in. See my elbow's connected to my knee here? Any space I give here gives him like opportunity to push my knee down. Here. Okay, when I'm here, it's a little harder for him to do that. Okay? I'm tight. I'm getting close. I go to load him up, kick, and pull the arm. Here, up, kick, and I'm behind him. As soon as I get here, I need to get my other hook in for my points. Also, I want to come over the top for my seatbelt position. Me, personally, if I can get the Kimura seat belt, I love that. If not, thumb in deep, or going to reach back and try to grab behind his shoulder. If you get the, uh, you get that full in, if you get the underhook with your left leg, you get nothing for that. It's gotta be a no, no points here. I got a lot of control, but no points. I have to have both feet in evenly. I can't have a really deep, like, hold up for a second. Like, if I'm on his back, and I've got this really deep leg right in, and I throw a shallow one here, like this, no points yet. Okay, like in wrestling, it, it's a deep weave leg. This, this happens a lot in wrestling because it gives with tilts and stuff. But I have to be square. Three seconds, I get four points. Okay, grip on the pants, cross collar here. Now, I'm not gonna be way out here, I'm gonna be in close. I load them up, pull them on top here, elevate, pull. And come behind. Okay, here he's sitting on top of me a little bit. All I gotta do is put that, get out, points, ready for the choke. If I'm here, another huge detail when you take the back. If I wanna control this arm, grab right under the pinky here. Watch this. If I grab here, straighten your arm. Straighten your arm. Okay, so even if we're sitting here just like this and I'm going for the back, going for chokes, I'm gonna grab the hand, right, not the finger, the hand right below the pinky here. Push your arm straight. The leverage is so much more than here. I mean, he can straighten out, start moving around. The higher up I am on the forearm, the worse it is for me. Grab right here. That arm's dead. Okay, collar, grip the pants, okay? Both hooks are in. I load him up, and then one motion, up. There we go, hook in, grab the hand, ready for the choke, okay? Like here, even in the gi, I'll come all up and just grab the shoulder, okay? Because that ensures my arm is under his neck. I mean, you can go for a rear naked choke in the gi. It's more of a no gi move, but if it's there, it's there. Okay, so don't be afraid to go for that in the gi, all right? So we need to see that again. Try to go slow at first to get your steps, and then I promise it's gonna be a lot easier once you do it fast, okay? Just flip them around, all right? One, two, three. <laughs> hey everyone, don't forget, if you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, give them a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or anything you want to see in the future, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Hope you enjoy the videos.